time now for us to meet some more of the Cybos Stars Scholars. All this week we've been focusing on some of those participating in the program. The scheme is designed to empower professional women to become the leaders of tomorrow by accelerating their knowledge, skills and self-confidence. And today we're joined by Cara Kennedy, the Executive Director, Head of Digital Assets for Custody and Fund Services at JP Morgan and Patricia Saliba, the Vice President Global ICM and TFFI Regulatory and Assurance at Deutsche Bank Trust Company Americas. Hi, welcome to both of you. Thanks so much for taking the time. Hello. So, Cara, I'm going to start with you. Day three of Cyboss, the biggest impact uh, so far and what you've enjoyed. I think it's fantastic to be here and I think just the size and scale of Cybos is um, you know, such an opportunity to have so many of the key leaders from our industry under one roof um, and to connect with colleagues and contacts face to face has been a huge um, you know, opportunity for me. Um, and, and probably the most enjoyable thing is just making those personal connections, um, which I think will have you know, a material business impact um, you know, through the months ahead. Patricia, what stood out for you uh, the most? Uh, what have been the big takeaways so far from Cybos? So I would start by congratulating Swift for putting together this event with all their partners, right? And the close collaboration between banks, banks as services providers, not only to discuss the advancements in technology, but I would also say sustainability and most importantly, the ML agenda as a forefront. Hmm. Let's talk about the Star Scholarship Program. How have you benefited from it? I think first and foremost, just the connectivity with the network of um, other stars. So um, the benefit of having those 32 other you know, exceptional women um, and having that chance to be introduced to them and connect, share our experiences and advice with each other. Um, you know, that, is, that has certainly been uh, what I've found to be incredibly valuable, uh, you know, as well as the broader, the broader star programme of events. Mm. And on the topic of sharing, Pat, if I can ask you the same mm. question, as a high potential professional in the industry, uh, what do you think the programme has brought to you? So I would echo what uh, Cara just said, obviously, and I would say as well, listening to many great speakers, connecting with the clients and also with fantastic women as part of the STAR program itself. Mm. Right. We've been talking with some of the other STARS about, uh, you know, the impact of the program, but also what, they, what else they would like to see. Can you talk with us, Pat, about, you know, there's this, this big drive across the financial sector to improve diversity, but what changes do you think are still needed? So I need to, uh, we need to think about examples, right? The ones you have at work and also the ones that you have close at home. For instance, my sister is a top-notch doctor, right? And she employs many competent women as part of her network, uh, which leads me to my second point, which is the sense of accountability, right? The important role we all play uh, in making sure we promote and sponsor uh, equity and diversity. Mm. Cara, we know diversity is a subject and an issue that needs to be taken seriously, but where would you like to see changes made? I think you know we all recognize we've come a long way but there's still more that can be done uh, for me um, an area that i really focus on is around support for uh, young professionals uh, particularly young women who are perhaps taking on um, you know changes in terms of looking to start a family or those caring responsibilities in mid-career mm. and looking at how we can really support them through that period of transition so you know at JP Morgan, my organization, we have really strong uh, mentoring programs, um, I think also coaching and ensuring that we also have companies in our industry that are supporting if, um, sufficient and equal uh, parental leave policies mm -hmm. can really help to try to um, bring a lot more balance and equality mm -hmm. uh, through that midpoint in the career. Pat, let's talk about the Know Your Customer landscape. Do you see new opportunities there? Yes, absolutely. And I can think about a few. Uh, the G20 guidelines on cross-border payments. I would also highlight the cybersecurity transformation and investments in education as uh, the next steps. Also, uh, speed to market, market customized solutions offered by the banks to their clients and the data standardization on payments and remittances side as well, targeting 2025. So a lot to look for. And talking uh, tokenization, and digital assets. It's continuing to be a key theme here at Cybos. Uh, Cara, as a global, as a major global organization uh, and custodian of this, what's JP Morgan responding to the market developments uh, in this change? How are they doing it? 
So JP Morgan, uh, you know, was a very early uh, mover in terms of development of our blockchain capabilities, um, and we continue to grow that through the organization. From a security services perspective, we are committed to supporting our clients to access digital or tokenized securities. Um, and we will do that in a way that is um, you know, supportive to uh, our clients' objectives and needs, but also it does not compromise in terms of asset safety. Mm. Um, I think we see particular uh, value in use cases for tokenization, particularly in relation to collateral services and, and financing, um, where it can really bring efficiencies versus some of the legacy infrastructure. Um, and I think one of the key things that we've seen this week already in the, the discussions is how we have to work together and collaborate as industry to make sure that we're developing scalable and efficient operating models in this space that, that really will drive the value for, um, for our clients and the wider industry. Well, congratulations to you both, and we hope you continue to have uh, some fruitful discussions and, and uh, connections and networking opportunities uh, on these last uh, uh, few days here at Cybos. That's Kara Kennedy, the Executive Director, Head of Digital Assets for Custody and Fund Services at JP Morgan, and Patricia Saliba, Vice President, Global ICM and TFFI Regulatory and Assurance at Deutsche Bank Trust Company Americas. Thanks so much. Those are the Cybos stars here on Cybos TV. Thanks, guys.